There are many aspects of me in the universe. But I am here with you today because it is necessary for me to talk to you about the things to come. I am Mary. Welcome, Mary. Some of you have very bright scenarios, some large dreams, and some beautiful thought processes. But don't get lost in these. Reality is all around you, and you must learn which parts of it to accept and which parts not to. And if you are in the dream state, you will accept it all in a different way than you are supposed to. Does this make sense to you? Are you sure? I want to I, I want to be very clear about this and I'm not sure that it will be. There are energies on the earth now that were never there before. There are good things and bad things that were never there before. Now, I do not like these words, good and bad, because they, they are spiritually energized. And I do not want them to be spiritually energized. I just want them to be matter of fact. Let's say negative and positive. But you must be aware of the world that you are living in as to be able to accept the things that you know to be part of who you should be and reject those things coming in as stimuluses that are not who you are or not things that are good for the world. Is that a little clearer? Yes. I would like you to ask me some questions about your personal lives in the sense that it will help everyone else. Because I think many of the things that are happening to you are happening to many. And I would like to explain them to you. Thank you. And I will ask a, a general question. Um, so many of us are going through many challenges at the moment. Yes. It's, it's, it's difficult to always stay connected to self. So um, if you could speak a little bit about that and how to yes. maintain your connection. You see, the self is, you nourish yourself. And you are nourished by good information. But if you leave in all kinds of information to be part of who you are, then you are nourishing also things that are not part of you. Be clear on who you are. Be clear on the reasons that you are there. If you do not have any specific reason to exist that you know of, exist out of love exist in the sense of spirit and of the things to come to you. But many of you are bringing in outside forces, thoughts that other people are giving to you that are not your own and that you should not accept as your own because they only tend to bring you a heaviness, a burden, or to change your thought processes away from the positivity away from those things that would have you move forward. Now, this inner pattern of joy that you should be bringing to yourself, where does it come from? It comes from the belief that you are on the right path, that you are doing the right things, and those things that you are doing are edifying the being that is you. Can I say that in a different way, perhaps? You are looking for the light that is within you. You are looking to brighten it, not to cover it with the things that, should, that would cause it to be 
less bright. Now, there are some things that can come in and you can utilize and become brighter, but you do not because the world tells you that that cannot be utilized in a good way. But yet, your heart, soul and spirit, mind, whatever, knows that it can be utilized in a positive way, but yet you listen to the world instead. You understand that? Utilize it if you can. Use it as fuel for the fire of the soul. I may be speaking above some of your heads because you're not aware of how the spirit works. But the spirit works within you. If you are in con contact with who you are, then you know what the spirit is doing. Does that make sense? Anyone? Yes. 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 Ask questions now because I know that I did not explain it quite clearly enough. Hello, Mother Mary. This is Sarah. Yes. I had a good uh, session with Emma Talk last week with Kim. Yes. Talked about letting go of the belief systems of others and the limitations of the belief systems of others. Is that That's another way of saying what you're saying? Absolutely, yes. Your belief system and who you are is very important. Now, if you take on the belief systems of others, is that being true to yourself? It may be if you relate to it in a way that is who you are. But if it does not relate to who you are in your soul, then you should not take it on. There are portions of all kinds of belief systems that are very positive. And there are portions of all kinds of belief systems that are not so much. Therefore, find that which is building your beauty and your love and your understanding and your connections to good things. Those are the things you should be dwelling on. Is that, did that clarify anything? I am here. I, and I do not relate well sometimes to this density at this time. And let me tell you why. There are so many changes happening and so many things going on here that I sometimes become scattered amongst the energies. And of finding the good for portions of the energies and releasing the negative parts of the energies. And so as I am here with you, I am doing just as I am telling you to do. I'm filtering through the energies and finding what is good and finding what is myself and finding what is edifying to myself. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And therefore, as I speak it, it is brand new information the way that I speak it, not that it is brand new information to the world. But the way that I am speaking it is brand new to me right now because I am filtering it through your planet's energy and through your planet's density. More questions, please. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Mary, it's so beautiful to share this beautiful light with us at this time. I am so grateful and honored. Thank you. I've had a experience in the physical with accepting pain, yes. accepting this physical pain and welcoming physical pain yes. into my being. Yes. So I can experience the physical pain and allow that feeling to be felt within the physical pain. Exactly. We were just left with a beautiful message from Takur about deep meditation and going into the oneness and in that sacred space, I have found it very beneficial to allow this acceptance of having physical pain. Yes. My question is more of a sharing or uncovering that I have found a lot of love for physical life, a lot of love for water, a lot of love for earth, yes. a lot of love for the physical beings and light beings 
that are all over this planet at this time, yet I would curse my own physical. I would be disgruntled for how much energy, how much life force I was bringing ease at specific moments. So I was riding yes. vibrational, let's say, gratitude of love, that frequency of feelings, yet sometimes when this physical pain would bring me so much in the three, it would be not of love, my feelings, not of love, my consciousness, and therefore not accept. Exactly. And this acceptance has allowed a massive re- a massive let go of simply acknowledging, simply recognizing that I am in the physical and that I have these feelings. And accepting these has allowed the openness and the flow of less physical yes. pain. Exactly. Let me continue with that. That was beautifully stated. He has embraced all that he is. Am I correct in saying that? He has embraced all, even his human physicalities and pains. He's embraced all that is truly part of his world. And now, since he has done that, he is able to distinguish between those things that are necessary and those things that are not. Is that correct? And to be able to find meaning in the things of those things he has embraced because they are part of his physical world as well as affecting his spiritual world. Does that make sense to you? It is beautiful that we should all embrace our pain, our love, our anything positive or negative. Embrace it and find out exactly what it is before you let it go. Or before it can be let go. You see, sometimes we must accept our pain before we can release our pain. Is that correct? So therefore, when you have physical problems, accept them. Because they may be grounded in the spiritual, the emotional, or possibly contractual. But in order for you to get through anything in a successful way, You must accept it. You cannot deny that you have pain, or you cannot fight pain until you accept it. Does that make sense to you? So therefore, your mental pain must be accepted as well. Your physical pain, your spiritual pain, accept it. However, that does not mean that you have to keep it. But it does mean you have to identify what it is and why it is there. And sometimes that's not easy. It's not easy to identify why something is with you sometimes. But once you accept it, that it's there, then you can start to deal with it in a way that is more positive. Does that make sense to you? Yes, how do you identify why it's there? First of all, when you are accepting it, you are identifying yourself as being part of it. Now, as you accept something, a person, a thing, a pain, a thought process, as you accept it, it becomes more aware, you become more aware of it. And therefore, it can actually lead you to uh, something else. Your, your pains may be based other than pain. They could be based in emotion. They could be based in contract. They could be based in other things. But as you become aware of what it is, then you can actually start doing meditations on why it is there.
Um, hello. This is Sarah. I have a question. Is I can hardly hear you, dear. Yes. Once you suspect that something is there, and you know why, why are we still living it? You've accepted it. Why are you still you living it? Why? why are you still are accepting it? How is it? Why is it still yeah. there in your reality? I understand. So you said you've accepted it, and you know why it's there. However, you cannot release it. Yes. Is it because it's all around you all the time? Yes. Is it because there is acceptance in the point that this is what it should be? Or is it a, the acceptance that it should be right now? Is this the way that you think that it should be? No, not at all. Then... There is a way to release it then. And do, let me tell you how. Understand what the reasons are and how the reasons are and where it all comes from. But is it you? Is it a part of who you are? Is it a part of who you are? No. Yes. And it, why is it affecting you so strongly? You have made it part of not who what you I are want anymore. Because the pain, let me tell you something. When you feel the pain that strong, you've accepted it. Oh, and that's fine. Acceptance is good that you know that it's there and why it's there. However, now if you know that it is not part of who you should be, who is it that you should be? That is what you should now accept in its place. Because you've already realized that that portion is not who you are. Who are you? What is to replace this feeling? Do you know what feeling is to replace this feeling? If you're saying love, love is already there. Yes. What else can there be? There can be the removal of the pain. We will, there is a very, very long, we could speak about this for a long time. Because I see what has happened with you. It is part of you, you want to release it, but you feel so strongly about certain parts of it that it cannot go away. It, you are very, very attached to it. And that is, what, that is the problem at this point. And that is all right. Experience that attachment, but do not make it who you are in your everyday life. Because that is not who you are in your everyday life. That is not who you want to be. You want to be the person that is truly you. And this has come to you, and it is not truly you. It is actually someone else, isn't it? Yes, it is. And so you love this person dearly. And therefore, they are part of you. And in this case, when you love someone that dearly, you take their pain upon them, upon yourself, so that they won't have to feel it. But you know that's harmful to yourself. I love you very much. And you are forgiven of all your sins. You know that, don't you? Yes. You would like to be able to forgive this other person, wouldn't you? I thought I had. I mean, you would like for him to forgive himself and have others forgive him as well. It's not a him. I did not hear that. It's not a him. Yes, he needs a healing. But you are not to take on all his pain. That is not why you are there. However, because you have taken on his pain, you have alleviated it somewhat from him. So therefore now you must release it to Mother Earth and give it away. 
And I don't know if that's going to be that easy for you because you have owned it for a while now, haven't you? No, it's time for me to move on. And I so will... much want to move on. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, I could speak Why to you for a while. Why am I still time. here? Is the question. What is the question? Why am I still here? Oh, there are many reasons for that. There are many, many, many reasons for that. Do not question your validity, because your validity is of the utmost importance. And that is one reason why you can't release this, is because you've not given yourself the validity that you deserve. You need to see yourself in that valid, beautiful white light. You need to see yourself for who you really are and not take on, and, and I, I say not take it on, but you've already taken it on, but not dwell in the other person's problems. You must find your perfection first. You must be who you are first. You must find your light first. You will never be able to extinguish this sorrow until you find yourself and you have lost yourself in this sorrow mother this mary situation. she said she said it's not a he is a she Lord, it is fine whoever he or she i'm just using words but it is that you must find yourself because you are living someone else and that is not who you are you understand the situation you understand why you've accepted it even sometimes I feel I as I'm talking to you you cannot fully accept it you cannot fully accept it and that is part of the reason it's still there because if you could fully accept it for what it is then you can start to let it go through wisdom and understanding of who you are. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are portions of it you have not accepted. Does that make sense to you? I cannot hear anything. Yeah, we, we cannot hear her either. She's muted. I believe that I believe there are portions of this thing that she she's accepted and portions she has not. And she must accept it all because she doesn't understand it all. I think that she think, thinks she understands it, but she does not. And with this understanding will be will come a way to release it. Because it is not part of who she is as a person. And that is why she can release it. Do you understand that? Yes. Now, for many, people hold on. People hold on to these things. Why do they hold on to these things? Because it's, they feel if they let it go, they also let that person go. And that's not true. Okay. Thank you. Um, believe another member has a question. Sure. Hello, Mother Mary. How are you? I am fine. Um, I'm from Israel, and for the last couple of months, there has been uh, many things going on. There might be a war on our way, and in the father, it's a civil war, you can say. I was wondering if you have a message for. Israel and there is many prophecies about your land and your peoples and that area of the world they don't necessarily have to come true but it is what has been foreseen for many thousands of years that your people will not change their minds and not accept each other therefore when this happens there will be war when you cannot accept your brother in love as a neighbor if you cannot accept their 
that they have their own beliefs and it is all right for them to have their own beliefs, then there will be a problem. And there is nothing that I can do or nothing that you can do except for pray and let God handle the situation. But he lets man have free will and have their own ways. He does not come down and force their hands. But he does understand who they are. But they do not love anymore. They're taught how not to love. They're taught how to discriminate. And they are taught how to cast out a different belief. I they see. cannot accept even the slightest variance from what they believe. And this is hardening like stone the soul. Okay. Do you see something in the year of 2016? Something in Israel's yes, future? Yes, I see many things. But of course, many decisions have not been made yet. And I do not know if they will be made in a positive or a negative way. I, I have my beliefs, as you have your beliefs, and understandings of things. But I should not predict the future. That is not why I'm here. Okay. Thank you very much. Much love to you. Much love to you as well. And I think that I should be going after one more question. Okay, um, one of the members asked a question if um, she says um, the best prayer to use before channeling to raise your vibration. What is the best prayer? Yes. Just accept that God is with you. Accept his love. Accept his knowledge and wisdom and understanding and keep yourself out of it so that you can give the greatest and strongest message to those that are listening that need the, the answers, that need the, the words, that need the encouragement. Keep an open heart to pure love and not just the kind of love that will be give to some and not to all, but give to all in a way that is expansive. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words to wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, shine until tomorrow, let it be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those words I will conclude there is much more to be said on these things the hearts are very heavy in some places I I look out and say see these hearts and wonder if they can ever find themselves to be clear enough to be loving enough to themselves to let these things go but you must love yourself it is important that you bring clarity to yourself, so you, you bring the love to yourself, so that you may give it to others. Not accept others' pain, but to relieve others' pain. Do you understand? Your joy is more powerful than any darkness. Your love is more powerful than any negativity. Your brightness and who you are as a true person will spark others to want to be who they are as well. 
The joy of being who you are is part of what life is about. Do not deny yourself with camouflage and with different belief systems that don't ring true. But find yourself in a way that opens yourself up to sharing the energy that you were made of. The energy that shows that God is alive in you, but not in a stuffy way. Not in a limited way. Not in a judgmental way. Not in a hateful or punitive way. You must just be free to love. And when you are free to love yourself, what is wrong? Where do things you find wrong on the earth? You only find the positive and love and joy. Oh, certainly you see those things that are not good or negative. But do you become part of them? No. You send your love and your understanding to it as well. You connect with others that feel the same way you do and send your joy to those things that are not joyful. It is the way. And if it does not change, it does not change for a reason. But you, you, as an individual, are so important. I do not want to look at a group of people and not see individuals. I do not want to look at a group of people and see only one thought. I want to look at you, each and individually, and see a multitude of thought processes, joys and loves, and different, different self-expressions. And how can that be if you all fall into a one idea? Think about that. The many ideas form the one great puzzle of the universe. It is not of one thought. There is not just blue in the universe or green or yellow. But there are many, many millions. And you are one of those shades that fits into the universe and makes a beautiful picture. But it is not that you are all alike or all speak the same things. But you must be true to yourself and true to that thing which is burning inside of you. And if there's nothing burning, that's fine. Just find who you are. And you know what? Your search for yourself is also a journey. And it will make you feel very alive. And then maybe, at some point, a fire will burn within you. Some will, but some won't. But it is to find yourself that is most important. And thank God for that. Because he made you so different, so individual. There are things within you that are in, within no other person in the universe. Thank God for that. Blessings to you all. Peace to the earth at this time of trouble. Much love. Much love and thank you for coming, Mother Mary.